Nothing is ever as it seems or as it might be. Stay with me for a while, hear my story, and then you'll understand. Understand just how different everything around you is from how you now believe it to be, and maybe come to terms with just how important you are to what might someday come to be. On the cover of this book you're listening to is an author's name. He believes this story is full of his ideas, born from his own mind. It's not. I am writing it through him. In his reality, it's all part of a clever plot he stitched together, even down to this very sentence that says he isn't writing it. Instead, it is the effort of my mind reaching out, back through what you call time and inspiring his mind, shaping his thoughts, convincing him of this reality. Sounds crazy? It is. I know it is. And I'm the one doing it. But you should look down, grab the buckle, and fasten your seatbelt, because it's just going to get worse. I don't enjoy doing this, playing puppet master with this citizen of your time, but our need is hopelessly desperate. More than you can imagine has been lost, and we are left with nothing but ashes in the cold of space. I've done worse. This is dangerous, both for his mind and my own, Already I have failed many times to send my message, and my efforts wrecked the receiving minds, driving them to madness. At other times, what has come out of the author has been a story so distorted, so warped by his own imaginings that the message is lost, and can't achieve its purpose. Your libraries hold some of these disasters. I can only hope that this, my last effort, will not fail. There is so much to explain— so much that you need to understand before you can accept the message and take the step we so desperately need you to take. So many things. Strange things. Horrible things. The things that can't possibly be true, but are. You will also need to understand something about time. This may be the greatest stumbling block. Alone, it's like a monolithic stone— an arrow marching forward like some godlike, unstoppable force rolling through history. What has happened is frozen in the past, untouchable and unchangeable. And what will happen, the future, is determined by the now. But the universe laughs at such simplistic ideas. The first thing you need to let go of is the idea that time is alone. Space and time go together and feed off one another in grand loops and dances that change both. I know this because the dance plays before my mind's eye, like a rainbow in the mist. Because of this, you must let go of the idea of the past as set and the future as something that does not exist. Space-time is an ever-existing clay trapped inside the great bubble we call the cosmos— like clay, it can be shaped, changing past, present, and future, always with rules, but not yet with rules any creature has come to fully understand. Sadly, these are only abstractions, colorless phrases that teach little and distort much of the living experience. I hope that you will understand more as you hear the story. But it is only because of these truths that I can even reach you now and only because of them that I need to. You see, as much as the future can reach back into the past, the past can reach forward into the future. And in our time of need, we need you, of our recent past. You have a part to play in righting a terrible wrong, saving billions of lives and reversing the horrific fate that has descended upon humanity. Somehow, in these pages, I must convince you of this. May I be forgiven if I can't. My parents called me Ambra Dawn, and I am a reader. But this is our story. <laughs> 